Nyajonga, Duolo. Welcome back to Juyi Jopei. This is a homework intensive lesson this week on the Hmong consonants. So my video will be a little bit shorter, but don't think you get off easy. Make no mistake, there is a lot of information packed into this tiny little lesson. My goal is to blast through the consonant vowel tone recipe and try to get to some of the meat of the language for you. But these basics are necessary, especially for new learners, and it doesn't hurt for us seasoned ones to brush up on it a little bit too. So this covers the basics. My intention is to make some focused lessons later on that cover some of the more problem areas of the Hmong consonants. So for now, go watch the videos that I've attached and the snippets from books that I've put together. I've done a lot of the work for you. All you have to do is practice it. Okay, I have a favor to ask you. Make these videos and books that I've put together for you, the worksheet, interactive. What do I mean by that? Well, don't just sit and watch it like it's TV. It's like somebody who sits on the couch watching an exercise program expecting to lose weight or inches, but they're not up and doing any of the exercises. No, 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 no. If you don't copy or do something, you don't learn and you don't progress. So what do I do? When you watch the videos, they'll say the sound, hear the sound, repeat it immediately, exactly as you hear it. You hear the sound, repeat it. Try to sound just like them. Try to get their accent. Hear it, repeat. Quickly, hear, say, hear, say. This is super good for your brain. It takes in more than one sense. So if you're just listening, that's good, it has value. But if you're saying it too, now you have two senses and you're also hearing yourself say it. It's not much different than a child learning to copy the speech of a parent when they're growing up and learning language. Some video links I put up will probably be easier for you than others. Keep at it. I put up a lot of links too, so just keep practicing. Refer back to the Hmong alphabet sheet that I put in a previous lesson. I made a small refinement to it and reattached it to this lesson. It has the green Hmong DL in it. So now it's a little bit more complete. Okay, time for review. Study all the consonants. And remember, you're not going to master these after the first practice session. So practice, practice, practice these videos over and over and over again. Don't be discouraged if you can't master every consonant sound right now, immediately. It's simply unrealistic and unreasonable. We will go over these harder sounds soon enough. So keep it up and keep practicing. Okay, so don't give up. You guys are doing great. Pretty soon you're gonna be up and walking around in this language and having conversations with every Hmong person you meet and it's gonna be awesome. So hang in there, practice these sounds and next week we'll have another great lesson on Ji Yi Jiao Bei.